Hello guys, welcome back to Earl Sports Bets. I'm Timothy Earl, and today I'm going to be breaking down this 10-game NBA slate for March 21st, 2021. Uh, we got a 10-game slate going for today, so a little bit bigger than yesterday. Hopefully we can have a little bit more success than yesterday if we go ahead and look at that yesterday. Um, Warriors lost, Clippers won, and then Lakers lost LeBron mid-game, and end up crumbling so not really something I could have predicted there but uh two one and two day uh, could have easily been two and one if LeBron didn't get injured but hey stuff happens so um, not gonna be too worried about it not to be hung, too hung up on about it um, we got some we got 10 games for today so just gonna keep looking forward and trying to, to profit on today's slate but before we jump into today's slate, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, we're slowly growing, trying to hit each milestone as we get there. We hit 500 a couple days ago, aiming towards 600 now. So we're just going to keep pushing, trying to keep making money. And uh, hopefully we have some good uh, days coming up with NBA and all the other sports going on. Uh, also, follow our socials. Link to those are in the description as well. Instagram, Twitter. Uh, Discord, all those, along with our merch site. If you guys are interested in buying anything ESB related, link to that will be in the description as well, along with the link to Picks and Parlay's YouTube channel. Me and Nick do some work over there as well. So if you guys want to go ahead and check them out as well, go ahead. Link to that is in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the games. Uh, we got four day games, so there's going to be an early slate, and then there will be six late games. Um, so keep in mind that some of these start at 1, 2, 3, and 3, so we're going to get th through these real quick. First one's going to be Indiana taking on Miami, minus 175 for Miami, plus 155 for the Pacers. Four points spread on this one. Uh, Gordon Jurotic is questionable. TJ Warren is still out. Other than that, everybody else is active for this game. And uh, in terms of going after this one, uh, and, uh, over, for over-unders, we're actually going to go under for this one. Both these teams are very defensive teams. Uh, even though it's a 216 and a half line, uh, we're still going to be aiming towards the under in this one. And then in terms of betting it, we are going to be going after the Pacers in this game. Um, we're going to give out our five best plays for today. Uh, this one's going to be our borderline one. It's a 3.1 value. Um, so we are going to be grabbing the Pacers in this one. Uh, it's going to be the worst valued official bet of the day. But uh, Pacers plus four is going to be our game for the one o'clock. Uh, next up, we get the Oklahoma City Thunder taking on the Houston Rockets. Uh, SGA is out. Porter Jr. is out. Horford is out. Basley is out. Gordon is out. Hill is out. So a lot of injuries in this one, and they're just two crappy teams. Um, but maybe there could be. There's probably some value here, and we'll go ahead and point that one out. Uh, in terms of over under, uh, I feel like this one is just. I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, these two teams are gross. I'm not going to bother with all the injuries and everything trying to go after that one. And in terms of betting this one, um, when there's two crappy teams, might as well get the crappy team that's given us points. Uh, plus three and a half for Oklahoma City is going to be our bet for the day. It's actually going to be one of our bet. No, I think it's, it is our best valued bet of the day. A 6.8 value for that one. Uh, we have them winning by 3.3 points. So going and grabbing the Oklahoma City Thunder is the way that we're going to be aiming at this one. And if you even want to grab that plus 150, um, money line definitely an idea considering that these are two just garbage teams so try to make the best of that one and uh go after the oklahoma city plus money next up we get the denver nuggets taking on the new orleans pelicans lonzo ball is questionable monte morris and gary harris are out along with jj reddick other than that everybody else is in uh we're gonna go over um don't even have to read the line. Uh, Denver has a very good offense. Uh, New Orleans really likes to go move up and down the court, so this one's most likely going to go over. Minus 240 for the Nuggets, plus 200 for the Pe Pelicans. Six points spread on this one. We're going to go ahead and grab the Nuggets, minus six. Um, 
we have the Nuggets winning this game by 11.8 points. It's going to create 5.8 points of value. It's going to be the second best value bet on the slate. So we do like the Denver Nuggets minus 6 in this matchup against the Pelicans. Final game of the uh, three of the early slate, I should say, is going to be the Orlando Magic taking on the Boston Celtics. Terrence Ross is out. Michael Carter Williams is questionable. Cole Anthony is out. Tristan Thompson is out. Other than that, everybody else should be good. Minus 355 for the Celtics, plus 285 for the Magic. Eight and a half points spread on this one, 215 and a half on the over under. Um, we're going to grab the under. Uh, it's just this game shouldn't remain competitive. And these two teams are very low scoring, especially the Orlando Magic, who really struggled to, make, to get points uh, this year. So I'm going to go ahead and go under on this one. And in terms of betting this one, we're not going to be interested in it. We have the uh, Celtics winning this game by 11.4 points. So it's only going to create a 2.9 value. So it's not going to be anything we're going to be interested in. The lowest value bet we're going after today is a 3.1, uh, which is the uh, Pacers. So we're just going to not go after this one. If anything, lean towards the Celtics, but we're not making that an official bet. I'm not putting my money on that one. Next up, we get the Washington Wizards taking on the Brooklyn Nets. This will be starting our 7 o'clock games. Uh, and in terms of injuries for this one, Kevin Durant's still out. Um, Griffin is questionable. Green is questionable. Brian and Ish are both out. Uh, other than that, everybody else should be in. Minus 350 for the Nets, plus 280 for the Wizards. 8.5 points spread on this one. Over, under... 248. That's probably one of the highest over unders I've seen this year, and for good value. Nets have the best offense in the league. Wizards are one of the fastest tempoed teams in the league, uh, and Wizards don't play much defense. Nets are meh with defense. It, this is going to be an over game. It, it's crazy as it sounds with the 248. Uh, I'm going to go over on this one. Once again, all the over-unders are just ideas of where we think this game is going to go. Uh, they're not going to be official bets. I don't personally bet uh, over-unders. I bet sides. So these are just uh, leans. So don't I mean that's for that. And then in terms of betting this one, we are going to be grabbing the Brooklyn Nets uh, minus 8.5 we do have them winning by 11.9 points, creates 3.4 points of value. Um, and it's just going to be our fourth best bet on the slate. Or, yeah, fourth best bet on the slate. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab the Brooklyn Nets minus eight and a half. Next up, we get the Chicago Bulls taking on the Detroit Pistons. Uh, for injuries in this one, I... Uh, Diallo is out. Other than that, all the other starters are in and good to go. Uh, minus 155 for the Bulls, plus 135 for the Pistons. Three points spread on this one. Over under of 218. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab the over. Uh, even though both these teams are a little bit lackluster, uh, 218 is just a very low total. And uh, I think that both these teams can manage to get 110 points each. I think this one can remain close, even going to OT. Um, so that could be definitely an interesting one. Um, in terms of betting this one, we're going to be passing. Uh, we have the Chicago Bulls winning this game by 4.9 points. Only creates a 1.9 value on the minus three. So it's just one of those ones that we're not going to be too interested in. And we're going to be avoiding the Chicago Bulls today. Or that game. Um, along with the, like three out of the last four. But uh, next up, we get the Toronto Raptors taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Andre Drummond is out. Kevin Love is out. Other than that, all the Raptors are in and good to go, which shows in the line. Minus 290 for the Raptors, plus 245 for the Cavs. Seven and a half points for this one. Over under 217. Going to go over. Raptors are a heavy over team, especially with Siakam and uh, Van Vliet back in and good to go um and this one should be able to go over uh, in terms of betting this one we have the raptors winning this game by nine points 1.5 value on that one 
not too interested in going after the Toronto Raptors in this game, just because just, just there's just not enough value. We're going to have bets on five other games, so we're going to go over there, and we're going to be avoiding um, this game as well. Next up, we got the New York Knicks taking on the Philadelphia 76ers and what will be our worst value played, uh, worst value game of the day. Um, Philadelphia's got Joel Embiid out. Ben Simmons is questionable. Quickly is questionable for the Knicks, along with Derrick Rose. And then there's a couple bench players that are questionable, but nothing too significant. Um, minus 115 for the Sixers. Minus 105 for the Knicks. One point spread on this one. Over under of 213.5. I don't care who's out. 213.5 is a low total. And I'm, I'm going over on this one. Uh, I just this game should be able to stay competitive enough to where the points can get up and everything. So I'm gonna go over on this one. Uh, and in terms of betting aside, once again, it's gonna be the worst valued one on the day. We have the uh, 76ers winning this game by 2.4 points, creates 1.4 points of value on the 76ers side. Not a side I want to bet. If you're gonna bet it, uh, bet the money line for the Sixers. It's a little bit better of value at 2.4, but once again, not good enough for our liking two games left next up we get the portland sorry not portland uh los angeles lakers taking on the phoenix suns minus 400 for the suns plus 320 for the lakers nine points spread on this one over under 213 once again this one's got to go over uh no lebron no ad um so this Creates a lot of good scoring opportunities for the Suns, which we have the Suns in this matchup as uh, as minus nine. Uh, we have them winning by 13.5, 14 and uh, sorry, 4.5 value. Um, so we do like the Phoenix Suns minus nine in this game uh, as probably uh, it's going to be our last pick of the day. Um, but w- without LeBron, without AD, uh, Lakers, this one should be. 11, 10, 11, 12 point spread. Phoenix Suns minus nine all day for this one. Final game of the day is the Dallas Mavericks taking on the Portland Trailblazers. Minus 130 for the Mavs, plus 110 for the Blazers. Two and a half point spread on this one. Over under of 228 and a half. We're going to go under. Mavericks have just been a under team lately, uh, and it should they should be able to control the tempo and do and keep this one under as well in terms of betting this one we're not going to be interested in it we have the dallas mavericks winning this game by 4.2 points so it's going to end up creating seven uh, 1.7 points of value just not good enough value for us um in this last game uh but there but we do have our five plays that we do like in this slate but that's going to do it for today's video we want to thank you guys all for watching if you guys got anything out of this leave a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new Once again, follow all of our socials. Link to that is in the description below. And until next time, let's make some money.